Here open. she comes. Woo! God, think of how many sucklers I could get in here. Literally just been born. Like as fresh as a daisy. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are down in East Sussex at Plumpton College with Leaf and the AHDB. We're gonna go look at some of the things that both Leaf and the HDB are doing to try and encourage and educate kids into agriculture. So we've got a load of stuff going on in there. There's some nutrition stuff, there's uh, business studies stuff, talking about farm finance, whatever. And then we're gonna go and have a, a look at the farm down here. So they've got a 270 cow dairy unit. There's a beef finishing unit with Sussex cattle. We've got a big fancy pig unit at the back, like it's dead flash. They've got robots, they've got a herringbone parlor. And then we've got a big fancy fence here um, to try and, I don't know, teach kids that we all drive around in fancy tractors. Crawford's got his name on top of there. Look, he's everywhere, that lad. Joe Seals is over there just going into the room. All the kids know who Joe is, but they don't know who I am. Um, Charlotte Ashley's somewhere, and then Tom, who does farmer time. So you might know Tom Martin, you might have seen some of the stuff that he does. He's knocking around too, so we'll probably chat to them at some point. We've got to be careful we can't get kids in the film because of like all the rules, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go look around the farm. We're going to look at cows. We're going to look at pigs. We're going to look at everything. It's going to be really interesting. See you in a minute. That's So we've just walked into the dairy part of the farm. We've got 270 cows here. Some are milked, I think they're in Lely Astronauts. We're gonna get down and have a look at some point. But you can see they're all on a TMR ration. They've been running around with this Shelbourne Reynolds behind a John Deere feeding all these guys this morning. Looks like they're in a bit of a Frisian Holsteiny thing with the Lely Luna having a bit of a brush. And then we've got robots at the end, obviously all on the slatted floor. So we're all tanked underneath this shed so it's pretty amazing a hell of a I and mean, this is a hell of a college like plumpton is not really a college that when you're from leicestershire you've heard a huge amount about but this place is impressive it's one of the only independent colleges in the country now a lot of them have been sort of integrated into different things or like they're amalgamated with universities or whatever else but this is an independent college it's got a huge amount of grant funding absolutely incredible place and these cows look amazing they're just in such good condition down here now i'm not sure exactly how this works but half the herd are milked through robots and then the other half of the herd are milked through a herringbone parlor i think it was like an 1836 or something like that does that make sense 1836 yeah i think that's math. that math is okay so i'm not sure exactly how that works i suppose we'll get down and find out this absolutely amazing setup how these robots as well they're not in the shed they're like on the end of the shed which I've never seen before. Normally I've only ever seen them as part of the unit itself. And there's actually cows. We're on a walkway here, as you can see. There's cows underneath this walkway down there. So the cows that are milked in the robots are going to be milked in this parlor here. So this is the 18 by 36 herringbone parlor. Interestingly, it's got two separate lines of milk. So rather than have a swing over down the middle, you can milk a whole 36 at a time, which is kind of interesting. I've seen a couple of people do that and it's a really wide pit in there which is kind of nice i'm not sure what times of the day they were milking they were just talking about like two in the morning and two in the afternoon but i'm not sure if that's right but there might be because it might be about getting the college kids to milk as well and then we've got a real nice handling system in here with the race ai stalls big long collection unit at that end the foot trimming crates just tucked away down there which is cool some of these kids have been watching graham parker hoop gp and they were like oh i want to see some foot trimming which I don't think we're going to get to see. But it's a really nice setup. It's super clean, quite a simple system, but it's nice that these kids get the opportunity to actually see like robots, which is obviously super high tech, very techy things. And a lot of these kids might be looking at technology as, as a course, into, as a way into agriculture because they're not from agricultural backgrounds. So it's good that they can see like super high tech and then almost like a lower tech dairy system. It's really good. It's just like really great experience for them. And it's an amazing walkway. Look at this. I've never went to college, famously never went to college or university for agriculture or anything like that. This is probably one of the most impressive colleges that I've been to. I've been to a few shearing sheep and things. This is an amazing one. It really is a hell of a setup. So we've just walked out. That there is the sort of back of the dairy unit. We're going to get to go and look at the robots in a minute, but just on the flow of things, we're going to come through the calf rearing unit. It's really airy in here, which is obviously good for calves. We've got all like the milking station here for everything. Everything's kept on the board, which is quite cool. I don't really do much calves. We used to do a lot of calves at home 
years ago we used to rear all our own replacements as calves and buy them in as calves. Obviously now we're all self-replacing from the supper cows. There's some nice calves, hello little one. So they're all year round calving, so obviously like the newest calves are in that side and as they get a little bit bigger and a little bit older they come over here. Looks like they're all on, oh, I think these are a few blue crosses, so maybe some of these are for beef. But they've got a lot of Sussex cattle, which we'll see in a minute. Yeah. Looks like these get like automatic cake as well. It comes from the bin there. There's a pipe runs right round into this here. So obviously it's a super easy hopper for them to fill up the cake. Spotted this track here. So they must have a lady pusher. We just come down to where the robots are. We're in the shed here. Oh, there's a nice TMR ration. I don't know if it should be in here, but we're having a look anyway. Some maize, some nice, oh, that's a nice smelling ration. Maize, a bit of grass silage in there. There's some, uh, what else we got? Looks like there might be some soya in there. I wonder if we can see the feed unit in a minute. Some nice looking cows, they're really tidy. So they're running two herds, from what I can gather. This guy's over here, these guys are all going through the parlor. These guys go through the robots. Look at that, what a beauty. Someone was saying that doing like a high yielders and low yielders kind of separate, because these guys have got the lady collars on as well. So obviously it must be a bit of a crossover somehow. So we've just jumped into where the robots are and we've got some lady astronaut robots here. The kids are fascinated by this thing, which to be fair, I am as well, as a non-dairy farmer. I think that's amazing. How it gets on there, got off the little teat brushes. I don't want to put my finger in it because I feel like it might just rip my skin off or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's I think amazing. It's very delicate, to be honest, but yeah. yeah, well, you know what I mean. It's like, as a punishment. Yeah. So then obviously it's showing all what's going on here 0.6 kilograms, 0.8 kilograms. Milk. Milking, milking like high on the rear right and rear left. Is that normal? Is that normal for dairy farms? If I had a dairy farm, I would love a dairy farm. Uh, I'd have to have robots, I think. I would have to have robots just because they're so cool. <laughs> You can see all these girls are lining up now. Nine, seven, nine, desperate to get in. Hey up girl, how are you doing? Nice to see you. So they are a Holstein Friesian, we are just asking this question. And uh, those kids, those lads were getting very excited about these suckers. I told them they only suck cows or doesn't. Oh, spraying it, look at that. Spraying it with some iodine or whatever it is, teat wash. Oh, now we're look, Jesus Christ, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, off she goes, see ya. She's out, she's going back some food. And this girl's coming in, here she comes. Woo! Look at that. Chewing the anything. I can't wait for this teat washer. Got it, whoa. Oh, look at that. I don't know, I don't know how this works, but she just like brushed them all. And then she came back out and washed, and now she's gone back in for another brush. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that was like a clean and then a wash. I'm not sure. Yeah, like a double clean. Like a double clean or I something. I'm presuming it's something to do with you know, dairy farm. I don't know. I don't know, but it was it was it amazing. Look look how, yeah, look how dirty it's got now. Yeah. Then she just jet wash that, I suppose, in a minute, putting yeah. the suckers on. They're doing 42 litres a day on average, these cows. Which is impressive, because I was just saying, I was watching Limitless win, don't judge me, um, at the weekend, and one of the questions was what was the average yield from a UK dairy cow, and it was only 22 litres. I thought it'd be more like 30, but it's not, it's 22. So the fact that these are doing 42 is bloody impressive. So every cow comes out of those robots and comes through the footpath. And I've seen robots before where they are like sort of within the shed and then they funnel them through the footpath once a day. I don't know if more times a day is good or bad, because we don't, it's not something we do as beef cows, but. I don't know, is, is that a good thing? You'll tell me, it's, it's a hell of a setup. Look at this shed. God, think of how many sucklers I could get in here. I will say, I'm impressed with how clean these mattresses and that all are. Obviously, they've all got sand on them. They've probably been done this morning. I don't know how sand will affect the slurry because obviously that sand's gonna go into these slats and then it's gonna have some kind of effect. I don't know if they've got a slurry separator somewhere and separating sand back out and reusing it. Yeah, lovely looking dairy cows. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we've got a big old bucket full of rock salt down here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think rock salt is something to do with the more they eat the salt, the more that they will drink and therefore the more that they will yield, I think. Beef farmer talking dairy here, so don't, don't quote me on that. So interestingly, I found that's where the Laley pusher should be. I've not seen it driving around, so I don't know if it's broken, but it should be parked in there because that's like what this whole little shed is. But if you've never seen these like Laley pushers and the Laley feelers and stuff like that before, 
they run on these tracks and they follow these metal tracks around and then they kind of it just guides them where they should be going so that it keeps them in the right place look at that feed unit and stuff over there oh and they've got the bedding machine oh, one of them trike bedding machine things the hell of a set was a massive silage pit as well look at this it, one of the most stunning parts of the world i drove down here last night and it was pitch black when i got here and i was like what's all those things i could just see these outlines in the sky these massive hills it's absolutely stunning just here it's what a place to be like genuinely if you're looking if you're a kid and you're looking at a college to go to look at this place because i'm so impressed with it we haven't got around it yet there's a massive pig unit i'm hoping to get into in a minute just here we've got some beef calves so i'm presuming these are weaned off of sucklers we're in sussex and they all seem to be running sussex calves the bushes that are in the main building they're a farm shop just down the road and they're running a lot of sussex suckler cows it seems to be like kind of a big thing here that everyone's running sussex cows because we're in sussex keeping the breed alive oh look at this dribble bar here on a fence just wrapping up the hose at the front there i don't know what they're doing oh they're up to they're unwrapping the hose i don't know what they're doing they're doing something they have a lot of different brands of tractor i presume that's so that kids get a bit of a feel for different types they've got some john deers they've got some cases they've got these there was a new orleans parked up somewhere here's the uh collection yard for the milking parlor so we can see down there i'd love to go for a walk but i feel like i'm going to get in trouble um so it's just a really smart setup here slats at the back for scraping keeping it clean i think i feel like that might be even on a slant back this way it looks that way it's definitely on a slant up to here to keep this dry and then i presume we've got bull pens just there as well this must be young stock heifers for the dairy side and then it must have some they must be larger ones down there we just took a little wander down here probably uh, we shouldn't have done but who cares no. because these are i'm presuming these are the heifers that are going to go into the herd they're all on self-locking yoke so i'm imagining that they ai them in here yes before they then go wherever they go, up there and onto the dry cows. Which is fine though, it's, quite, it's a lot actually, isn't it? Isn't it? A chunky amount really, of heifers. Yeah, it's a lot of barrier. Oh, no, what's this paint? You're going to dairy, what's this paint? Is that because they've AI'd yeah, AI'd them? Yeah, AI'd them out, isn't it? They've already done it. Um, so, yeah, is that not what you would spray one for? Yeah, I, may, I imagine so. And then this is the pig unit, which we'd, I don't think we can get into. But um, it's oh, a shame because the kids dawdle too much and we need to get down here. But look at this pig unit. Oh, you can hear them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how we get down there, but it's like state of the art pig unit. They spent millions on this pig unit, apparently. Which it looks like they spent millions on the pig unit. How, how can we get in it? Uh, uh, we have to come. I haven't got a clue. But oh, it's amazing. There's a few into your pigs. Ooh, you this is the place. Of, I have two you pigs. Can, big time farmer, me. Yeah, big time pig farmer. She's <laughs> interested in putting up one of the pig my units. Two peaking cross. Joe's been to look at some manatus. Um, because obviously he's a big Manitou fan. Um, JCB, if you're watching, he's thinking about buying a Manitou, so just, uh, you know, maybe you need to do a better deal for him, I'm not sure, but so that's the way it goes. It's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. So we've just come into shed here, which is like the dry cow shed. Um, these cows obviously are imminent giving birth. And look, we've had a baby calf, probably, but well, looks like calf, within the last 20 minutes. Literally just been born, like as fresh as a daisy. And these kids, like, they've never, experienced a lot of this stuff before so all in the city kids so it's amazing just to get them out on farm and show them a lot of these guys are like not necessarily interested in becoming a farmer but a lot of them are interested in a lot of the technology behind farming as well so it's just being able to show them stuff like the robots now is really interesting they've never experienced a live birth before and that's pretty special for them so we're just chatting to one of the guys from leaf who came on a bit of a farm tour yesterday to get all the information they needed they got 50 Sussex suckler cows here and the bull was just sat over the other side of the shed but they don't use the Sussex on the dairy as a sweeper they use Angus on the dairy as a sweeper but majority of them are AI'd so that calf that's just been born there looks like a dairy calf so I'm presuming it's like a Friesian or a Holstein back to that cow there I mean, that cow looks quite big so I imagine that's a Holstein cow with a Friesian calf it turns out that even even the college kids don't always ride around in the fancy fence look at that no back window. That seat must be getting soaked. No lights. <laughs> this, uh, I presume this must be a scraper tractor or something, but it's an absolute weapon. You're never getting them wheel nuts off. Best tractor on the farm, I bet that is. We've just come back for another little walk around the farm. We've got the old bull here, which they wouldn't let me anywhere near earlier, but we've not got the people bothering us. Um, it's like Sussex bull. And then we didn't notice this the first time around, but we've got a Sussex cow with a calf here as well. I thought they were spring block carving, but maybe they're not with the Sussex cows. I don't know, but. Yeah, nice little cow and a calf there. These calves, the weaned calves, I don't know how old they'd be, but they look quite stonky yeah. considering how small the calf is. Nice small cows, but I like small cows. Everyone knows I like small cows. Another thing on the here as well, we've got like this midden here. 
which has got a slanted floor. It's quite interesting. I didn't notice this first time around either. So it's, go, go on farm tours twice. That's the motto of the story. It's slanted and it all runs down into the slurry system down there and goes to a concrete slurry tank behind this midden. Joe's a big Teagle fan, aren't you, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's, like a, that's one that goes on a telehandler. Yeah. I didn't realise they did ones like that. Yeah, yeah it's, I... But it doesn't blow it as far, surely, if it's like, because you're no. on a hydraulic motor. And it can heat up your hydraulics. I think you can get an extra fan and stuff to cool stuff if you're doing a lot of bales, but um, I prefer the trailed ones. Yeah, I mean, I, we got we did all it, our it, silage with it though as well. So, it'd yeah. work though, if you've got a telehandler and you've got, not got another tractor to tie up on, yeah, it sort of makes sense. Oh, ah, nice. It's not really got blades in it. It's got like, it's not blades. It's like, um, I don't even know what they are. Exit. They're not sharp, are they? They're no, just no, no, like no. blunt. Huh. I imagine the normal, like, yours isn't blades, like, yours has got blades, yeah. Well, it's got those as well. It but blades too. Perhaps blades that's because it's hydraulic, you don't want it going too fast. If yeah, it had blades, it'd perhaps bung it up. Just stumbled yeah. across the butchery at Plumpton. Look at this place, absolutely fascinating. They've got the butcher's block at the front, again, with the camera over, it goes onto the screen, shows everyone how to do it. We've got all the massive walking bridge down there oh it's fascinating absolutely incredible if you want to learn to butchery this place is it this guy's going to start a youtube channel um we've talked him into it he's he knows his stuff he, honestly he's amazing so we've come inside now into what's the bakery um we didn't get to go around a pig unit because the kids were dawdling and we didn't get around there they were saying that the pig unit is super noisy because obviously the pigs are always squealing and whatever else anyway but in here they're teaching these kids to make some breadsticks so they're all teaching them about yeasts about uh, wheat like where wheat comes from what it looks like when it goes into flour the protein content and how important that is to making bread rise and what you can use different protein contents for which is quite interesting they've all gone over to the back now just showing them how to use one of the big industrial mixers because they're going to make these breadsticks and they've got this massive tv here which is amazing it's like a it's like a proper youtube channel not like this one you know where they make bread and they have the tv suspended from the camera suspended from above so you can show all the kids what's going on it's a really really good setup here um super impressive and you can see on here this fella just here i think his name's andy he's just making some bread dough the proper proper bread i like bread bread is good for you they were just talking to kids about how there's a lot of misconceptions around bread and uh, how actually like, proper bread made properly is really good for you because it's really good for your hair apparently which is um obviously not much use to me Boom, and we're back to the farm now. You know what, it's a shame that we didn't get the ability to speak to some of those kids, because we can't have kids on camera. You get it, like the whole rules thing. Fair enough, but some of the kids have really switched on. It would have been cool to have shown you how important those days are, getting kids onto farms and getting them learning about the wider industry around agriculture and sort of what the opportunities are within agriculture, because it opened some of their eyes. Genuinely, it was a, a really cool day, and the farm was amazing, 100% recommend Plumpton College to anyone who's thinking of going to college is definitely worth a look but with that said we're going to wrap up for another week I hope you enjoyed the video it was an amazing day I know I enjoyed going round look after yourselves and I'll see you in a bit ta-da